and play the entire career of Justin Herbert not stopping until the day he retires. We pick up in the current day NFL with Justin at a solid 88 overall, so maybe an invite to the 99 club is an eventual possibility. Now from here, we're simming to the end of the first season and we'll continue to do so until Justin actually makes a Super Bowl, which at that point, I'll play the entire game and try my absolute best to get him his first ring. With his contract expiring in just a couple seasons, it'll be interesting to see if he gets a big payday from the Chargers or if he betrays Los Angeles and takes big money elsewhere. So 6-11 definitely wasn't the start that Justin and myself wanted. We had one of the worst records in the entire league. How was our offense almost dead last? Our defense sucked too. I mean, that's a respectable first season from Justin. Almost 4,000 yards, 31 touchdowns, and he threw less than 10 picks. We've got to find a way for this team to improve around Justin. I mean, how does he not have one 1,000-yard receiver? I highly doubt he even got a singular MVP vote this season, and it looks like he sure didn't, all while Samuel Darnold came in 10th place. And 100% will eventually need Justin Herbert to perform better so he can win an MVP because winning two MVPs is just one of the 10 challenges that he has to complete today. Along with becoming a superstar X Factor, he has to join the 99 club. He's got to make at least five career Pro Bowls. He needs to throw for at least 45 passing touchdowns in at least three seasons while also accumulating 20 career rushing touchdowns. He has to finish a season with a 69% completion percentage. He has to win at least one Super Bowl and at the same time break multiple Super Bowl passing records. And last but not least, he has to finish top 10 all time in either passing touchdowns or passing yards. And if Justin fails even just one of the 10 challenges, I literally have to buy every single Justin Herbert card off the market and discard each and every one of them for only 100 coins. Depending on how many Justin Herbert cards are listed, this could literally cost me millions and millions of my precious month coins. So please don't fail me, Justin. At least at bare minimum, he did improve on his own up to a 90 overall this first season. Hopefully that'll increase at least by nine more so he can join the 99 club. And also, at least he did record one rushing touchdown on this season, which does give him nine for his career. So at least I'm working my way towards something. Hey, at least the Eagles won this Super Bowl. But now, super important, as we move into the offseason, we have to track what the Chargers do around Justin because we need this team to be good enough so Justin can make a Super Bowl. Just please sign some big free agents so we can compete in this tough division. I mean, they made a couple okay signings. Too bad this isn't basketball. Hopefully our Chargers front office is better at selecting players in the draft than signing free agents. Honest to God, this draft class is not shabby whatsoever. I mean, only one of the seven players drafted were under 70 overall. Like, this right here is a banger. In the next season, hopefully that stud field draft class can catapult this team to a playoff berth in what could be Justin's final season as a charger. Can we just please complete one of Justin's 10 career challenges this season? Because I really, really don't want to have to discard millions and millions worth of Justin Herbert Mutt cards. Two straight last place finishes is not what I wanted. Maybe Justin does need to sign for another team to see success. I mean, at least the offense improved a little bit. The defense didn't, though. I mean, that, my friends, is one heck of a season. Almost 5,000 yards passing, 38 touchdowns, and only 10 interceptions. Good improvement this season, although though we need this touchdown total to eventually hit 45 in a season. And he did add himself another three rushing touchdowns on the year, which brings his career total up to 12. Now that's the production I expect from this receiving core, and it should continue to get better. I don't believe there's any shot he won MVP this year, but he might have came in the top 10 this year. He actually came in the top five in fifth place. At least his good individual season increased him to a 91 overall. And he still hasn't made a single Pro Bowl, dude. How's he supposed to make five. And now we got Justin's arch nemesis winning the Super Bowl. Like, can it really get any worse? I'd like to thank Raycom for sponsoring today's video. You guys see these beauties? I'm dead serious when I say I've been using Raycon for the entirety of the last two years, and I've loved them every step of the way. Raycon's on a mission to prove you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound. With Raycon, you're paying half the price for the same, if not better, quality earbuds. So you could literally get a pair and a spare and still pay less than if you chose unwisely and went with the more big name tech brands out there. On top of that, you get eight hours of playtime with their everyday earbuds and the noise isolation mode is amazing for blocking out the noise and their custom gel tips make for the perfect, most comfortable fit. Without a doubt, the most comfortable earbuds I've had the honor of placing in my ear. Not to mention they're water and sweat resistant, which is perfect for somebody like yours truly who sweats like a pig when they do any sort of cardio. You can get yours now by either clicking the link in the description box below or by going to buyraycon.com slash 
RBT. Once again, that's buyraycon.com slash RBT to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. I mean, possibly for Chargers fans, because he very well might not even re-sign with the organization. This is actually so exhilarating. We're into free agency, and at the click of a button, we'll see whether or not Justin Herbert remains a Los Angeles Charger, and he's gone! As of right now, the starting quarterback for the Chargers is J.K. Scott. Holy crap, dude, which team is gonna give Justin Herbert the money? Chargers fans have got to be sick. Scrolling through the teams, trying to find where he signed is probably the most stressful thing I've ever done. Looks like Justin's not the only quarterback to change teams this offseason. No shot! Our man is a Minnesota Viking and gets to throw the football to Justin Jefferson! Holy crap, dude! This might be a match made in heaven! They gave him six years, $243 million, so our man's officially a Viking for at least the next six seasons. He could have not signed to a better situation. This offense is stacked! Maybe with a good draft class here, we really could be Super Bowl contenders next season. I really don't think you can complain about a draft class when you get an 80 overall with your first round pick. Please let season three here be the year where we finally get things going. How are we an 87 overall team, yet we only won seven games, dude? Oh my gosh, dude, Justin might actually be cursed. I mean, we had a top five offense in the entire NFL and our defense was top 15. How'd we only win seven games? And Justin just continues to improve on his own. 5,000 yards, 39 touchdowns, threw a few too many picks this year. And I wish this 67 would have been 69. At least he keeps chipping away here with two more rushing touchdowns, bringing his total up to 14. There's absolutely zero universes out there that exist where Justin Jefferson wouldn't eclipse 1,000 yards with Herbert at quarterback. This is just stupid. Did he at least Mickey Mouse an MVP award? No. At least he improved up to a 93 overall. Keep in mind, too, he's still so young, man. Only 26 years old. So, yeah, it's been a failure up to this point, but there's still so much more of his career to go. Hey, at least he made a Pro Bowl appearance. More progress. I just have a feeling, though, Justin's year's coming. But unfortunately, this season, once again, was Patrick's. Come on, front office. We need a massive offseason. Sign some big free agents, because this team is too good not to make a Super Bowl run. So, signing literally zero free agents this offseason wasn't really the goal. I had in mind. They're gonna make up for it this draft class. I can feel it. I mean, outside the first two rounds, it was quite the stinker compared to the last few drafts. Our starting offense for next season, I can feel it, man. This is our year. I mean, can Justin just at least finish with a winning record for once? Let me tell you, it's about freaking time. From sub 500 to a first round buy. Trust me, I'll take it. Top 10 on offense once again, I'll take that. And our defense was worse than last year, so how we get a first round bye. Justin with another solid season, 4,500 yards, 37 touchdowns, and back to throwing under 10 interceptions. And I wish he would have thrown just like one or two more incomplete passes. At least he got to the end zone one time on the ground this year, bringing his total of 15. Now that, my friends, is what I expect from Justin Jefferson every season. 22 touchdowns through the air. That is mental. He has four more seasons here in Minnesota, so him and Justin Herbert, man, they're gonna be fun to watch up until the next decade. If he came in fifth place for a third straight season, I'm gonna cry. He actually didn't. He didn't even come in the top 10. Absolute blasphemy. I don't even think he improved by one overall this season either. Like, how's that even possible? But who cares about individual accolades? Our goal here is to win a Super Bowl. Please, dudes, don't let me down here. No! We literally lost in the NFC Championship game by one point, dude. Like, you can't write this script. No wonder depression rates are so high. Nah, 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 bro. This has got to be a joke. This has got to be some sort of joke. Apparently, the Chargers are a better team without Justin Herbert. That just hurts. That hurts a lot. Imagine an actual Super Bowl matchup against the Chargers. That would have been epic. Let's keep our foot on the gas, front office. Let's once again bring in a big free agent class so we can take it one step forward next season and actually make a Super Bowl. Please, for my sanity. I am on my way to having to discard millions and millions worth of Justin Herbert cards. Who at least this offseason our front office did sling a little money around. Hopefully we 
can top it off with another solid draft class. This was definitely not the time to have our worst draft class yet. Who cares though, because Justin's still going to lead this team to a playoff berth here in 2026. So he might not have won the division, but I'll still take an 11 and 6 year with a playoff berth. Why'd our offense suck this year? And our defense wasn't much better. But again, another great year from Justin 4,700 yards, 39 touchdowns to only 11 interceptions. Ooh, for the first time though, he doesn't get a rushing touchdown this season. Again, man, not even one top 10 vote. We are screwed. At least we finally see some improvement once again, up to a 94 overall. Let me tell you, boys, I would do absolutely anything for a Super Bowl appearance right now. We need something for once today to go our way. Of course, things keep going bad. We lost to the Lions. I am so tired of Patrick. Yay, our kicker retired and we didn't sign a soul. Exactly what we needed. We better draft 799 overalls here. That was 100% not the case, but at least we did get a few gems. Here in the 2027 season, I'm speaking a huge year into existence. At least just one of the 10 challenges completed so I can have some hope moving forward. I mean, slight regression from last year, but who cares because we won the division. Back to a top 10 offense in the league, which is huge, and the defense was actually amazing this year. Another quality season from Justin, although why can't he ever eclipse 40 touchdown passes? And again, man, no rushing touchdowns. Why are you doing this to me? Again, I don't think we're going to see Justin finish top 10 of the MVP race, and it looks like we surely don't. How are we supposed to win two MVPs when we can't even come top 10? And the clock is ticking, man, because he's about to turn 30 years old. And any season now, these overalls are going to regress and we're going to be screwed. I just need a miracle. I cannot begin to describe to you what I would do to make a Super Bowl here. We did it! We actually freaking did it! We got to twerk. We got to twerk. We got to twerk. And not only do I need to win this thing, Justin needs to break both the Super Bowl passing yard and passing touchdown record, which means he needs at least 506 yards passing and seven passing touchdowns. Boys, we have not made it this far to fail. You best believe we're coming out slinging the football, and don't you ask questions why it's a second and 25. About to pick it up right here, Justin Jefferson is so open, bro! He's a cheat code! Justin Jefferson, first pass of the game, Touchdown Vikings! Bro, let me tell you, I hope to God it is that easy all game long. This is the most unfair thing I've ever seen. I'm just glad he's on my team. Come on, defense, come up with a big stop. And of course they did. Same guys covered him again. And he's kind of open. He's got to go up and make the grab down around, you know, past the 50-yard line. I'll eventually get some of our other pass catchers involved because we have guys like TJ Hawkinson at tight end. Smart with the football. An absolute laser catch all the way down to the six. Let's go ahead and get our second passing touchdown. Mumpfield, touchdown, Vikings. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Konata Mumpfield. Come on, defensive massive goal line stand. Let's go, dude. I'm just throwing it up to you. Oh, okay, okay, that's not good, not good. Get the ball. That's what I'm talking about. You fumble, you make a mistake, you make up for it and recover the ball. Okay, I see some space. It's a pick. No, it's not. It's a catch. It's a drop. Oh, no, their DB has a glowing X underneath his body. You know what? Justin Jefferson, one-on-one. -on -one, I'm taking my chances. Back of the end zone. He makes the catch. You legend. <laughs> I love the gritty. Oh, no. Okay, thank God. Okay, they were going to score a touchdown eventually. We just have to answer this drive and keep scoring. Oh, don't be a pick. It's a pick. That was stupid. I need to stop being stupid or bad things could start happening quickly. At least my defense came up big and made him miss a 58-yarder. Just gotta make up for that interception. Just put it behind us. And get sacked by Max Crosby. Looking for Mump Field. He's so open, bro. Let's go, Mr. Mump. Oh, no, oh, no. TJ Hawkinson wide open. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. TJ Hawkinson, you absolute beast. Honestly, I'd be down for the Raiders to, like, score quick here. Or they can just go and chew all the freaking clock left. At least our defense got us the ball back. Hopefully, we can keep adding the stats. Oh, no! Okay, so that's kind of very, very, very anticlimactic, isn't it? I don't want to reconnect my controller because I think it might be a pick. Well, let's see what happens here. Okay, so that could have been bad. I'm going to go for it, though, man. This is mad and... TJ, please. TJ, please. Conservative catch. Boom. Hawkinson, it's a pick, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. I am 
so dumb. Hit and score, though. It's fine. It's fine. What's not fine is our defense letting the Raiders throw up half the clock in the third quarter. I mean, I still need 200 passing yards and three more passing touchdowns. Boys, do not be alarmed, but they are once again pressing Justin Jefferson in the slot. Do you guys remember the first play of the game? He's just as open. He's just as open. Oh, gosh. Just make the catch. Just make the catch. We got hit as we threw it, but at least, thank God, it still got to him. Won't feel what I'm looking for you so much space what a grab secure hands let's please not screw up here and get another touchdown pass be smart we're smart we were smart another konata monk field touchdown gosh dang it they scored again and brought the game to the end of the third quarter we still need a hundred more yards and two more touchdown passes okay i did not mean to do that i swear to you i pressed the wrong button i am so Horrible! So horrible! At least they only got a field goal out of it, but man, I can't choke this away! They have all the momentum. Let's just get some Mickey Mouse yards here. And that was the exact opposite of what I wanted. Once again, please don't ask why it's a third and 30, because at the end of the day, I'm just chunking the ball deep to Justin Jefferson and hoping for an absolute prayer. What a one! He doesn't make the catch. I'm screwed, dude. Part of me, honest to God, just wants to go for this because they'll probably score regardless. Top 10 dumbest things you've ever seen on the channel, but we're here for a good time, not a long time. Fourth and 30 from our own five. We're going for it. We need a laser. Oh, no. They're going to score a touchdown, aren't they? They do. Are they going to get the two? It's a tie game. Nah, bro. It's Justin Jefferson's turn wide open again. Wide open again. He's going to make the catch. The 40. The 30. Let's just run this play every freaking time. Let's go. Oh, my God, bro. It's about freaking time. So, I just really hope the Raiders don't chew the rest of the fourth quarter here. And it looks like they have to punt the ball away. We need a touchdown in like 50 more yards here, dude. Jefferson, a little bit of space. He's going to make the grab. And if I threw that split second later, that would have been our fifth pick. He's got him beat. He's got him beat. Please, please, please catch it. Hang on. Boom! An absolute dime dropped in the bucket by Justin Herbert himself. And what a little toe drag. That's officially two Super Bowl records for Justin Herbert. And bearing an absolute disaster, Justin Herbert finally wins himself a Lombardi trophy. Miracles do happen. And trust me when I say, guys, this is literally only the beginning. Keep in mind, we still have eight more challenges that we have to complete to save my precious mud coins. In the next season, for this team to go back to back, Justin's gonna have to carry like never before, especially with the loss of Dalvin Cook. And I guarantee you Justin's back is hurting because he had to have done a lot of carrying this season. How on earth do we get back to back first? First round buys because we had the best offense in the entire NFL and our defense wasn't the greatest or so offense literally did carry now where the frick did this come from I guess with the loss of Dalvin Cook they just let Justin do his thing all season long not only did Justin Herbert throw for like 700 more yards than what he did in any other season he completed 49 touchdown passes thank God for the first time eclipsing 45 in a single season it would have been so clutch though if he could have thrown for a few more incompletions oh which thank god that officially means he's hit 20 for his career if his numbers from this season is not good enough to win his first mvp man i don't know if that's even possible but i want to see first how much did he improve this season on his own oh that scared me we've still got to officially hit that 99 club though we literally had four 1000 yard receivers that is absolutely mental i really really freaking help bro we get that first mvp I actually beg, thank the Lord. You're not gonna steal it from me this time, Quinn. This is what I call progress, men. And that means he had to have made another Pro Bowl. That's what I thought. More progress. So far, we have made up a ton of ground this season, but I mean, he is 30 years old, so do we have enough time before he retires to complete the rest of the challenges? I will tell you, an extra Super Bowl win here would be absolutely massive. It might be the only thing that could potentially save us. And boys, we did it! Let's go! Holy crap, dude! I actually can't believe it! We got a super close win against the seven seed Falcons and then went on to beat the Rams in the conference championship. But how on earth am I 
supposed to beat the Chiefs. I cannot begin to describe to you how big an extra Super Bowl win would be here. Starting off the game not too fast because the Chiefs take a 10 to nothing lead. We do answer with a touchdown. We can't keep the Chiefs out of the end zone. Oh no, dude. This could turn into a blowout. We need to score fast. We're hanging in there. Not for long though, are we? 31 14. No, dude. It's an absolute disaster. After all that, we lose. I'm telling you guys, Patrick Mahomes is Justin Herbert's arch nemesis. We move though. Hopefully the front office will just keep improving the team this offseason because obviously we're still right up there with the best of the best in the league. We just need a little more to compete with the Chiefs, obviously. And with only one year left on his Vikings contract, we're going to have to see how this plays out and see if he signs for a third team next offseason. After losing our center and punter to retirement we just again signed some mid free agents this offseason i mean at least this draft class was better than last year's i really hope this is the season he joins the 99 clubs i don't know if justin has too many chances left i mean he's 31 years old he'll probably start regressing any season now no the magical run is over i mean we still had a half decent offense defense was mid too i mean a good season but didn't quite get the 45 touchdowns that i desperately need and Thank God he hit 20 career rushing touchdowns. At least Justin Jefferson is still falling out. Oh, and it looks like he re-signed a five-year deal. So if we stay in Minnesota, we'll still have Justin Jefferson as Justin Herbert's partner. I highly doubt that was good enough for another MVP, and it wasn't. He didn't even come in the top 10, which means no third Pro Bowl appearance. Gosh dang it. But it does look like he'll be Justin Jefferson's partner in crime for a few more seasons. He signed a four-year extension worth about $200 million dollars and you gotta be kidding me man he only improved to a 98 again boys at this rate we're gonna need an absolute freaking miracle this isn't even fair why do we randomly not sign free agents this better be the best freaking draft class of all time i mean at this point i'll take it take that lions too bad they'll probably beat us in the wild card offense was about the same as last season and again he throws for the same amount of touchdowns as he did last Last year, we really might be screwed, boys. And I really hope this trio sticks around till the very end. Now, I don't think his season was good enough to win an MVP award, and it wasn't. But at least he did come in the top 10 at number 7. And hold on a freaking second. Thank God, dude, our main finally got his invite to the 99 club miracles dudes it might not be much but there is still a little bit of hope left especially if he made himself his third pro bowl and of course he freaking didn't can we just please not get first rounded by the lions they're a much better more talented team but you never know we have the game at home and we get a big win we didn't have much faith but yet here we are so i'm just gonna go ahead and full send it straight to the super bowl and hope to god we get a chance to win an extra one Ugh. Ugh. This is literally so stupid. They've literally almost won every single Super Bowl the entire career of Justin Herbert. Hilarious. Already went down to a 98 overall. But he's 33 years old now, dude. This man really could retire any given offseason. We've got to make every single season, every single offseason count for the rest of his career for us to have any shot to complete today's challenge. And more importantly, to save my precious muck coins. Our front office is a joke. At least we drafted a couple studs. Can this team at least make the playoffs again this year? No, dude. That's a shame. At least we had a top five offense. It was our defense that let us down. <laughs> That's got to be some sort of freaking joke, dude. Did you not just throw him for one more touchdown, Justin? At least the receiver core is still killing it. Just go ahead and let me down one more time, EA Sports. It doesn't even look like he comes in the top 10. What do you mean? How is a high 90s rated quarterback only made two Pro Bowls in his career? Dumb game. At least he didn't retire. But he is down to a 96. That's not good. Now it's about freaking time our front office showed some competence. Too bad this mediocre draft class kind of puts a damper in things. Into next season, and I really hope and pray this team can make another run for it. I mean, we didn't get a first round bye, but I'm not complaining about a 13-4 season with the division crown. And talk about where we belong as the number one offense in the league. Holy crap, dude. Where do these seasons come from? It's not his career high in passing yards, but that is his career high in passing touchdowns with 51, which is the second time in his career he's thrown for more than 40. 
45. We're still hanging on by a thread. 27 touchdowns from Justin Jefferson. What in the world? What the frick? That is actually the most ridiculous thing, man, that I've ever seen. Just please tell me, bro. Please tell me Justin gets his second MVP award. Let's go! This thing is coming down to the freaking wire. And yet, with 27 receiving touchdowns, Justin Jefferson does not come in the top 10. Did win Offensive Player of the Year, though. And of course, that means he made his third Pro Bowl. But do we even have enough time for him to make two more? Can Justin please just play in one last Super Bowl? No, we got beaten the conference championship again. Can you please just not retire yet? We live to see another season, although our punter doesn't. Oh, wow, the front office gave over $3 million in contracts to free agents. That'll help. This draft class isn't even worth my breath. Down to a 94, and he is 35 years old. So really, dude, this could be one of his last seasons, if not his last. I don't know exactly what it is that we need, but I do know is that it's gonna take an absolute miracle. Well, the last place finish really isn't what I was hoping for. I mean, we still had a top five offense. Why is our defense always soft? Yes, 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 it's a belt time, dude. We got screwed earlier, but this time exactly 45 touchdowns for Justin Herbert, which means we continue to have a little glimmer of hope. Let me tell you, it'll be absolutely ludicrous if I have to discard me Millions and millions worth of mutt coins because Justin Herbert didn't finish with a 69% completion percentage in his career. How did he not make a fourth Pro Bowl? What do you mean? He didn't make a Pro Bowl, although he came in fourth place for the MVP voting. That is so stupid. Bro, why do I have such a bad feeling this is the offseason that he retires? Oh my god, thank the Lord we're safe again. Although he does only have one more season left on his contract. He is up to 36 years old, but he's still in 91 one overall was superstar x factor so hopefully while he still has some talent he doesn't retire i've never seen such a horrible front office do you not care about winning boys i really think it's gonna take another super bowl win to complete today's challenge and it very well might have to come in this season how does this always happen like where the frick did that come from literally the entire season the only game that we lost was to the jets by three like i'm actually in shock Right back where we belong as a top offense in the league, and the defense was much improved somehow. Oh my god, that is the most insane thing I have ever seen. 5,000 yards, 54 touchdowns to only 5 interceptions, and look at that completion percentage. Although I would much rather have been 69. If that's not good for league MVP, I don't know what is. Let's go, Justin. If he didn't make his fourth career Pro Bowl, I've got to have a talk with the guys at EA Sports, and thankfully he did. But will I even have another chance next season at a fifth? Let's just full send this, bro, straight to the Super Bowl, and I really think we need this. We need this. We've got to have this to complete today's challenge. We lost in our first game. Oh! Just please don't retire, dude. Please don't retire. Give me at least one more year. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He didn't retire, but Justin Jefferson did. So did two of his offensive linemen. Dudes, we really might be screwed. And as a 37 year old, his overall is now back down to what we started at today. Does Justin really have what it takes to clutch things up without Justin Jefferson on this team for the first time in his career? The most depressing draft class I've ever seen. If Justin Jefferson really clutches this up as a 37 year old, he officially is inter goat status. Well, safe to say it looks like we missed Justin Jefferson. I mean, we still had a top 10 offense. <laughs> Oh no, dude. Definitely don't think that warrants a Pro Bowl berth. We couldn't even get the 69% completion percentage. Just out of pure curiosity, would you look at that? Justin Herbert's already six all-time in passing yards, and he's third all-time in passing touchdowns. So at least we know we're good on that one. Please, please, please don't tell me you retired, dude. Oh my gosh, we lose another receiver, but thank the Lord Herbert's still sticking around. Although now at the pristine age, of 38, he finally dropped from X Factor to Superstar, and he's down to an 86 overall. We still need one more Pro Bowl berth from you, Justin. Why aren't you drafting receivers? This season really could be Justin's final ride, dude, so say a prayer for yours truly. Let's please speak success into existence. Oh my god, way more like it. Oh my god, dude, we did have the best offense in the league. 
Now that's a really good season from Herbert. Oh my god! There's no way, dudes! I <laughs> want very easily could be his final season in the NFL. Justin Herbert has completed 69% of his passes. I genuinely thought that was going to be the one to ruin us. So all we need now, boys, is this man to have made a fifth Pro Bowl. Let's go! Oh my god, dude, let's go! You remember all that crap about me having hope left? That was all of them. I thought for sure we were failing this challenge. We were so far off pace and we actually did it potentially at the death. Now can Herbert potentially finish his career right off into the sunset with one final Super Bowl win? No, just another conference championship loss. And when I told you dudes we completed this thing at the death, I mean it because he retired just a few weeks later. Oh, thank God, my precious mutt coins are officially safe after an incredible career from the GOAT Justin Herbert. Now if you enjoyed that one, click right here to watch me play the entire career of Jalen Hurts and let me tell you guys, if you thought Herbert's career was crazy, it has nothing on Jalen. 